Olympic swimmer Summer Sanders reveals why your health isn't only skin deep. Still ahead, Olympic swimmer Summer Sanders reveals how to get a leg up on your health. Coming up, Olympic gold medalist Summer Sanders tells why you shouldn't be vain when it comes to your health. You know, it's been said that beauty is only skin deep, and sometimes the same can be said about your health. There are visual signs that you should go to a doctor uh, to look for. And here to explain how varicose veins might be a sign of a bigger problem is Olympic gold medalist Summer Sanders. Hey! Oh my gosh, it is so great to be Okay, Summer just told me we have the same birthday. We share a birthday. I love that we do, and, and the same year. Yes. <laughs> Should we tell them when? <laughs> October 13th. We're Libras. I so know. We're balancing. That's so fun. 13 yes. is the lucky Another Libra. Yeah. So, and another Libra. Yeah. That's right. And and you brought a, a friend with you. Yes. You brought, and Dr. Julie Stoughton with me. Yes. And Julie, you're beautiful. My goodness. I know. I said okay. that to her, too. Yes. Yes. Okay. I, I know you're here because you're very passionate. I could talk to you about a million things yes. because you are so fascinating. But you're here for a specific reason, and I love that you're passionate about it. And I wore a skirt just to, to show off the legs today, to remind people to get to know your legs again. And it's varicose veins. It, it runs in people's families. My mom had it. She said, I got it from you, Summer, because she was pregnant with me when they showed up. And I got them with my son. So, it's you, so you didn't have them before you were pregnant? No, yeah. I didn't. And I really thought as an Olympic gold medalist, am I the face of varicose veins? I didn't think I was. But I'm so proud to be because so many of my friends are suffering from this heavy, achy legs. You think, oh, I've just been on my feet all day or I'm getting older and I have to put my feet up. It doesn't have to be that way. I had the procedure and now my leg feels like Look at how beautiful enough. her legs look. I mean, they are gorgeous. Well, thank I, you. I have to say, I have to say, I'm wearing the stockings that help to prevent this from progressing. Isn't that so, great? These are those are for stockings. varicose veins. Yes, babies. these are these are compression yeah. stockings. <laughs> <laughs> they come. They're very nice. They have them for men too. We have some samples. Now, can I call you Julianne? Is that our? Sure. Do you want me to call you? Sure. Okay, Julianne. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you know that you have that her hereditary gene or whatever it is for varicose veins, do you wear something like that to prevent it? It's a great way to prevent the progression and to help to, especially during thing, times, high risk times like pregnancy when there's a lot of pressure on the veins and the hormones are stretching the veins or standing profession, both men and women can get these things. Well, you know, my mom had them and um, when I, because I, I lost 50 pounds, but I had one right here and it just kind of went away once I lost the weight. Yes. So so what do you do to get rid of something like this? Like a varicose and and first that question, because yes. I have a million questions. <laughs> I know. This is it's a fun subject because we do see it often. And a lot of people think it's a cosmetic issue and it really isn't. You go to rethinkvaricoseveins.com and take the self assessment test to really understand your health. Be your own health advocate. Well, that's, that was my next question. What does it cause? What are some of the ramifications? Well, varicose veins come in different stages, um, or, or they're sort of the beginning of a huge pro, pro, progressive, I'm sorry, progressive thing <laughs> wow. called chronic venous insufficiency. Uh, varicose veins are sort of a bulging vein that has a lot of pressure in it because the veins have valves that start to wear out, and that's the hereditary part. So as they wear out, you have varicose veins, and then that pooling of the blood under the skin starts to cause it some pretty awful pictures there, but the discoloration of the skin starts to happen, and that's something that we can't really fix. It's almost permanent, so it's a nice thing to fix it when you have just the varicose veins. And then you can get ulcers. At the very end of the line, you get ulcers, and sometimes, especially the men are very active, See, I always thought People that it was a cosmetic it. thing. Like mm -hmm. you just wanted to go get them taken off so your legs look pretty. But really, you should do the procedure. Well, it's a it's a definitely a cosmetic benefit when you can get them taken care of. But I want her really legs. Is, <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, that's what I love having uh, having this model. Look at you. First of all, can we just we talked about her legs. Look at her legs, right? No, it's so sweet. It's amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. That's what yeah. dancing can do for you, right? Keeping so busy. Well, yeah, yeah, chasing kids around will do it too. Yeah. But <laughs> and I just, I have to remind, so the cosmetic thing is one thing, but, but really when you find yourself massaging your leg when they're, when they're achy and they're tired, and we are all running around and very busy, but I say to people, we're so programmed. If we have a toothache, we go straight into that dentist and we get it taken care of because you know it's going to lead to something worse. And it's very similar with venous insufficiency and varicose veins. It's just going to get worse. So just to be clear, if your legs are achy, that could be a sign that you're getting them? Definitely. So you should go in and talk. So where yeah, do you it's go? It's very easy. And, and the procedure, what do you... What 
what is the procedure? What does it feel like? What do they do? Okay, so I thought I was going in for surgery, and I built this whole thing up with my husband. Like, I'm going into surgery. You're going to need to take care of me. It was a procedure. I was in there for 45 minutes. I was chatting with my doctor the whole time. This is me. It was literally one of those moments where he said, wow. okay, you're going to feel some heat because it was radio, act, um, right. radio frequency, and it was the benefit procedure. I, he said, okay, that's it. 45 minutes later, and I was walking out. So they laser it. It's a radio frequency, so they use heat. Or laser. Wow. or laser. You can yeah. do all different. Uh, we really, what we do is, it, is, is we, it costly? We'll screen and do an ultrasound, and then you know. And the cost is most of it is covered by insurance. If mm -hmm. you have that kind of thing, it costs about two to three thousand dollars. If it doesn't, or and more, is it is it a perhaps. permanent procedure, or do you have to go back in and, and? Well, this is one of the things I tell the patients. It's sort of like tending a garden. That you, if you have that gene and you have Pull that the weeds out. <laughs> yeah, you might you might have some other tending to do, but it's a maintenance thing. And does it leave scars? Not anymore. Nothing. I had it on all this leg right things. here, yeah. and, and you don't see anything. It's all done basically right. from an IV or little tiny pokes in the skin, so it really doesn't leave anything. See, you wouldn't think that you would ever have anything like that, because in the water, you don't have any really pressure on your legs. So to have something like that happen, I think it's wonderful that you're kind of the, the face of it, I guess. Well, I, mean, I had that moment when I was pregnant with my second son, I mean, my second child, my son. And I looked at my leg, and I said, oh, no, I have varicose veins. And I love my mom. She's beautiful and gorgeous, but in that moment, I turned into my mother. Really? <laughs> you know, it was always my mother's condition. And that's why I feel like it's so important for me to represent people out there that are suffering with this, with this every day. The face has changed. So, so the for the women who are watching out there now, what, what can you tell them to, to see if they are at risk? What, what things can you tell them to look for? Well, sometimes one starts with just a little bit of a swelling, aching, heaviness, or maybe a few little bumps that raise out of the skin, or sometimes spider veins. And then um, anything like that, I think it's, as Summer said, that RethinkVaricoseVeins.com has a nice screening Mm -hmm. A test that you can take to see whether or not you have. Do your, do your legs ache anymore? No. If it, it feels, I had it done on my left leg, and it feels so light. It's re, and I run. Can I, I run do it on my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. You're yeah. darling. Thank, Thank you, too. Really a Thank pleasure. You. And also, you know, for more information on CBI, not CBS or anything else, because <laughs> I'd be going down to the pharmacy. No, go, go to CBI and, and Varicose Veins. What you can do is go to our website, too, and we'll direct you to, to yours. Right. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>